Hey there folks, how's it going? Ash here and happy Power Rangers Day. Power Rangers turned 31 years old today and we got a cool announcement from almost everyone except for Hasbro themselves. They didn't even bat an eye from my knowledge, which is come to be expected by now. I wasn't going to gas you guys up and make these predictions for Power Rangers Day thinking we'd get a cool announcement. If you've been around the block once or twice before on this channel before, I don't like gassing you guys up for some big announcement that we're probably never going to get or we probably won't get. But one of the cool announcements we did get today on Power Rangers Day was from Digital Eclipse, the people behind Reader's Rewind, which is coming out later this year, sometime in the fall. No set release date, they just say it's coming out in the fall. But one of the things they announced on their Twitter page is that Tommy Oliver will be playable in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Reader's Rewind. So what exactly is Reader's Rewind? Well, I probably got the trailer footage playing right now on the screen, but it's a beat-em-up game in the same vein as Shredder's Revenge and other 2D beat-em-up games that have released in the past. And I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game later on when it releases later this year, although this year is pretty much stacked when it comes to video games. Not only that, video games I'm still working on completing, and video games have come out that a lot of people are talking about that I've yet to play. It's a stacked lineup within the next couple of months when it comes to video games, that is for sure. But I'll definitely be playing Reader's Rewind on the channel. I'll definitely try streaming it, that is for sure. I'll maybe do a couple of gameplay videos here and there, maybe make some easter egg videos about it here and there. I don't know. I want to make content around this game and I'll definitely be releasing it when Reader's Rewind comes out later this year. But Tommy Oliver was announced for this game, which is something that I kind of knew they were doing because if you watched my trailer breakdown, you see that one scene where they're on sort of the roller coaster, you can see different colored carts for the different ranges, and one of them's green. So obviously they were going to put Tommy Oliver in the game, they just left him out of that first trailer and saved him for his own little separate announcement, which I kind of knew that Tommy Oliver would be in the game. If they made like Tommy DLC or something like that, I'm sure people would riot. But seeing how this game celebrates the history of Power Rangers or the legacy of Power Rangers, no doubt about it, you'll probably get some Green with Evil stuff in there because it's one of the most iconic Power Rangers episodes out there. Now, going over the screenshots that Digital Eclipse released, it's nothing too crazy to write home about, but it's something we can break down and examine on the channel for this video. But not only that, go over a couple of other things they've teased through tweets and answering a couple of questions that people had for them on their Twitter page. So the first thing we see is Tommy Oliver delivering a high kick to Goldar, where we saw that Goldar boss battle in the first trailer. We see Tommy fighting Goldar one-on-one -on -one here. So it's a lot of single-player Tommy action with the screenshots they release. So the first one is Tommy kicking Goldar. The second one is Tommy in the roller coaster and he's firing at the clown putties. So you get sort of more of that gameplay. The Next one is Tommy on the rooftops and he's fighting two Tanga. One of them looks like they're down and out. And then you have Tommy leaping up into the air using his dragon dagger to slash one of them, knocking him down. So you can probably guess that's probably going to be his high jump attack where Tommy can use the dragon dagger to fight, which is kind of cool to see because the Rangers can use their power weapons in the game. So no doubt about it, Tommy will be using his dragon dagger to fight. And the last screenshot is another Tanga battle where Tommy is fighting Tangas at the Angel Grove Industrial Waste site and you see Tommy delivering a punch to one of the Tangas and another one looks like it's flying above him. So either Tommy's doing an uppercut to this Tanga or it's a grab move that, that you can use in the game. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like a punch. It looks like an uppercut punch to the face or the beak that he's doing on the Tanga. Now, if Tommy is playable as the Green Ranger, does that mean he'll be playable as the White Ranger in the game? We're not entirely sure as of the time of recording this video, but if we do get an update, I'll probably talk about it on the channel or in a community tab, no doubt about it. But one of the things with Reader's Rewind is you go through sort of the history of Power Rangers, so maybe... Tommy as the White Ranger will be in the game. I really hope that he is. I know that it's heavily like MMPR Season 1 focused with a couple of like Season 2 and Season 3 monsters thrown in there, but 
I'm get, like no doubt about it. They'll probably put White Ranger Tommy in there because that's just as iconic as the Green Ranger suit with Tommy being the White Ranger. So hopefully they put that in the game. Now we have no word of a release date coming out for this game as of the time we're recording this video, but Digital Eclipse says it is going to drop later this year. So keep an eye on that release date. But people are also wanting a physical version of the game. No doubt about it, I'll probably want a physical version of this game as well, because I got a physical version of Battle for the Grid, and if we do get a physical version of this game, no doubt about it, probably like with Battle of the Grid, I'm guessing that Limited Run will drop a physical version of this game that will release later for out either this year or next year, that we'll probably be able to pick up with some kind of special edition collectible like they do for a lot of their games as well. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye and an ear out for that if we get one. But no physical version and out so far, but the digital version will be dropping later this year. So yeah, that's my quick little update on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Readers Rewind. So like I said earlier, I'll definitely be covering this game on the channel when it comes out. I'll probably live stream the game in one sitting when it drops i'll try and do that on the channel to see if i can beat it in one sitting on the channel will i do it solo will i do it with other power ranger youtubers and content creators i don't know but that sounds like it would be a lot of fun so i'll definitely look into that in the nearby future but what do you think of tommy oliver being playable in readers rewind and will you be maining tommy in readers rewind once you unlock the character I'm guessing the answer is going to be an obvious yes, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I will see you guys later. Peace out, take care, and thank you for watching.